Hello friends, welcome back to our video. Today in part 2.1 of the Maastricht Parallel Programming series, we are going to learn how to supercharge our parallel link queries with the help of with merge options. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon that way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. P-Link queue. In part 2 of the Mastering Parallel Programming series, we learned what is P-Link queue and how and why to use it in a C -sharp program. If you did not watch that video, you can find the link in upper right corner. I'll provide the link of that video in description section of this video as well. If you watched my previous videos on this series, you might recall this diagram. Well, today we will go ahead one more step further and learn how to tweak the P-Link queue query behavior. Fine tuning P-Link queues buffering behavior using with merge options in C -sharp. In parallel link queue, there is a neat little feature called with merge options that allows us to fine tune how plink queue handles its result. Okay, so before we jump into the code, let's understand the basics. Imagine you are exploring a list of things with parallel link queue, which is like a fancy way of asking questions about the list. When you ask question, that means you write plink queue queries. Nothing happens until you start looking at the answers due to PLinQ's laziness behavior. Now, normally when you ask questions in a regular way, that means sequentially, you get answer one by one exactly when you need them. It's like you are pulling each answer when you want it. But when you are using parallel link queue, it's a bit like having a bunch of helpers, that is threads, who get the answers a bit ahead of time. Just in case you need them, they work together to get the answer faster. These helpers keep the answers in a small bag that we call as a buffer. So they are ready for you when you finally decide to look at them. And here is the cool part. If you decide you have seen enough answer and want to stop early, the helpers also stop working. This way, you are not wasting time or memory. So, parallel link queue is like having a team of helpers to speed up the process of finding answers from a list. And they are smart enough to pause when you are not interested anymore. Okay, so now you understand p link queue's query execution in a very simple way. Let me rephrase the same thing in technical terminology so that you could correlate. p link queue queries as largely evaluated like ordinary link queries. This means that execution is triggered only when we begin consuming the results. But typically, we consume via the for each loop or maybe via conversion operator like two array or an operator that returns a single element or value. The whole funda is when we enumerate the results, though execution proceeds somewhat differently from that of an ordinary sequential query. So how sequential query is processed? So a sequential query is powered entirely by the consumer in a pull fashion. That means each element from the input sequence is fetched exactly when required by the consumer. Whereas parallel query ordinarily uses independent threads to fetch elements from the input sequence slightly ahead of when they are needed by the consumer. It then processes the element in a parallel to the query chain, holding the results in a small buffer so that they are ready for consumer demand. Right? If the consumer pauses or breaks out of the enumeration early, query processor also pauses or stops so as not to waste CPU time or memory. Now you got the basics and able to correlate it with the terminology that we basically use in C -sharp. So if you want to tweak this offering behavior of the parallel queries based on the business requirement, you can do so with the help of with merge option. So here, if you see, with merge option has three flavors, parallel merge option dot not buffered, parallel merge option dot auto buffered, and parallel merge option dot fully buffered. So let's understand one by one. When we are going to use parallel merge option dot not buffer, it disables the buffer functionality. It is useful if you want to see results as soon as possible. Now comes to the parallel merge option dot auto buffer. This is the default one. It casts the results set based on the system decisions such as how much output buffer should accommodate. It generally gives the best overall result. So that's what Microsoft has decided to keep it as a default one. Now comes to the parallel merge option dot fully buffer. It casts the entire result set before presenting it to the consumer. The order by, reverse, aggregation and conversion operators naturally work in this fashion. Okay, let's switch to the Visual Studio and see all these things in action. Okay, so here we are on Visual Studio. So the demo, what I have done, I wrote one simple C -sharp program that depicts the use of the p link queue with the with merge option method to control the buffering behavior during the execution of the parallel query. My focus here is to find even numbers between 1 and 10,000 using the p link queue with a specific merging option. So for that, what I have done, I have created one console application named 
with merge option demo that has program.cs file. In program.cs file, first of all, I imported necessary namespaces such as using.system, using system.link you, using system.threading.task, using dot system for basic functionalities, using system.link you for link you operation, and system.threading.task for parallel process. Then there is a class named program that has main method, which is an entry point of this application. Here, first of all, I have printed this statement into console window. P link use with merge option demo in C sharp. Okay, so then what I have done, I have generated an array numbers containing integers from 1 to 10,000 using innumerable dot range method. Next, I wrote one P link you query where result is equal to number dot as parallel dot with merge option parallel merge option dot auto buffer dot where x goes to x percent to equal equal zero dot select x goes to x and then two dot array okay so let's understand this p link query step by step first of all what i have done i have written number dot as parallel so this as parallel method converts the collection into parallel query that basically enables parallel process. Then I have used with merge option parallel merge option dot auto buffer. So basically here what I am doing, I am setting the merging option for the parallel query. In this case, what I have done, I have used auto buffer, which allows P Link Q to automatically determine the optimal buffering strategy by the system itself. So even though if you are not going to write it and if you are not going to include this option, it will be treated by the system as a auto buffered way because this is the default one another way to write is parallel merge option dot default it will be pointing to the auto buffered one and here we could use not buffered or fully buffered parallel merge option also based on our application request. and that's how we implement with merge option in plinq query then there is a where statement right so this where statement basically helping us to filter the even numbers that's what i have written dot where x goes to x version to equal equal zero basically it is just going to filter the even number then i have written the select statement so this select statement is nothing but a projection that does not change the selected element and at last i have used the two array operator that basically converts the results into an array then what i have done i have just printed this statement even numbers between 1 and 10000 then what i am doing i am using the for each loop to iterate through the result array and prints each even number in console window that's the overall program let me execute this program and witness the output okay so here is the output P link use with merge option demo in C sub got printed, even numbers between 1 and 10,000. This statement got printed, and all the even numbers got printed between 1 and 10,000. So now you must have understood how and why to use with merge option in P link queries. Okay, that brings me to end of my session. To sum up, we learn today how with merge option could help us in fine tuning the P link use buffering behavior. Okay, that brings me to end of my session. To sum up, we learn today how with merge option could help us in fine tuning the p link use offering behavior that makes a difference in how efficiently our parallel queries run that's all for this video guys if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already thanks for watching see you next video